If you want to have an appliance or anything really with a center line and you don't want to have auto dimensions on, because it can be a little bit difficult to do the auto dimensions, you can do each item individually with user dimensions using a line. So you have to make sure down here, make sure that your item snap is turned on. Go to annotations, draw a line perpendicular to what I want to do, which is the, the stove. I want to highlight the stove. And there we go. It's snapped right to the center of it. Then I simply take my line to line. I prefer multi-dimension because it allows me to move it right out, right away, even if I'm just doing one item. Start at the wall, go to the line, right click to end it. And I'm at I think that the the stove is 29 and 7 eighths actually so it puts me at 51 and 1 16th if you don't want to show the 16th I'll probably drag it into the wall the full eighth actually i'll do just 1 16th using the offset i like to have my dimensions clean Oops. there we go now i'll move it i'll just move my line to center on it again there we go 51 inches and you can do that with pretty much anything this item above it is a SketchUp model make another line and it will center to that as well so that's how you can do a dimension on something that is manual and then if you want to you can go to the room catalog symbols miscellaneous symbols and you want your center line on the floor plan so click that there we can rotate it so it snaps and there's our center line. So you can also do the same thing with elevations. I'll do it actually with this refrigerator from this doorway. Lines are a little bit trickier in elevations. And as of this version, which is 13.2, <clears throat> now this did snap to it. So I'm gonna leave it alone. But if you try moving lines in elevations, they offset from wherever you're dragging it from. So if you can get it to just snap, that's great. And then again, I'm gonna use the multi-dimension tool. Start there, go to the line. And there's my center line from there. And then again, I can go over here to your elevation version this time. And there you go. So that is how you add dimensions to something with just user dimensions and not auto dimensions.